Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Kicking off the Tinker Day, going to try to get a couple of parts off this Volvo. It's still got both fog lights in the bumper there. How about that? Anyway, let me see if I can get it without the car being moved. If not, I'll have them come moving. I had a jack out here the other day, but maybe, oh, there it is there. Maybe I can use that to help me get what I need. Let's see. The loader just came. Put this thing up on these wheels for me like this, which should give me access to everything I want. However, the last time he picked it up, so I could put this in these wheels right, he actually forked the brake lines I wanted. Doesn't look like it's busted, so I'm gonna take it and use it anyway, but he almost ruined my day. So let me get this stuff loose, see if I could get everything out that I want, and get out of here. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to even try to take this exhaust with me because this is going to be an easy attachment to what I got. Man, heat makes it seem like everything takes longer. Anyway, I got the brake lines all the way back to the ABS controller. Back to the rear wheel over here. Oh, this bracket don't seem to come loose, so I took those. Looks like it's riveted in. It's got the hoses on there. The hoses look fine. I got the fuel line from the filter all the way up to the back of the engine. Looks like this pressure regulator is part of the line. I couldn't unplug it. I didn't pull real hard, but I might leave it on there and just connect that vacuum. Then... I got the exhaust from the tip of the tailpipe up to where I cut it under the car. So that should be good. And none of this stuff is rusted out like on the existing car. So I'm going to go get a wheelbarrow and take this stuff up out of here. Oh, I got this brake line from this uh, union to the caliper as well. So... I'll need a wheelbarrow to carry this exhaust. I'll just come get it all at once. So let me take my tools back to the car, get away from those wasps. They're starting to check me out. Well, folks, it's time to start putting this car back together. This is not a fun job to do in the middle of the summer. I tell you, it is not for the faint of heart. Yesterday, I realized that somebody did some exhaust work and they put a two and a quarter pipe on instead of the three inch pipe that was on it that kind of stinks and there's the brake lines that I have to work on but yesterday I went to get a fuel line and I left it at the junkyard that's the fuel line that I removed and that fuel line is different from the one that goes with the front wheel drive setup. So I need to go back and get that fuel line. If you're gonna do this job, I highly recommend you get all of the parts from your year matching vehicle off the front wheel drive version. You wanna get the tank, you wanna get the emission lines from the tank to the engine, you wanna get the fuel lines from the tank up at the fuel pump to the engine, you want to get the brake lines from the connection back here all the way up to the ABS controller and the exhaust. I have everything out except for some of that exhaust and the brake lines from the ABS brake controller all the way back here to the bracket that is by the driver's side left rear tire. I also need the spray some more of this rusty area 
I thought I did all that the other day, but I didn't. So let me hit that with some spray paint and start putting this thing back together. Most of that stuff's been wired wheeled. I wire wheeled most of it the other day. I also failed to grab the bracket that goes here to support the muffler system on this car. The main thing I went to the salvage yard to get yesterday was the fuel line and I forgot it sitting on the ground yesterday. Hopefully it don't get damaged between yesterday afternoon and tomorrow morning. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tank in place without the fuel line and then I'm going to put the exhaust in and then I'm going to work on a few other things. But I got some more of this rust painted and I didn't get all the rust knocked loose in there so I may do a little bit more of that before I put the shock in place. But this car has a lot of rust under it. Needs to be treated. Some of it cut out and replaced. Before you can put the tank in place, there's a plug there that you need to push through that the straps will connect to. And then you gotta make sure that hole will take a strap bolt. And the other strap bolt goes in right there. I need to push that plug through there. Threads in here was full of rust. I had to run a thread chaser up in it. This one too was rusted up. I had to run a thread chaser in it. Then I ran the bolts in and out to make sure they grabbed. Now we're going to put the tank in place and put the straps on it. Got the fuel tank secured there. Up here. And up there. Next I'm going to secure this canister. Make sure everything is plugged up right when you raise the fuel tank make sure you put all the lines through the hole so we'll secure this here with this bracket that has the muffler support on it that one screw goes there the other screw goes there we got these spring hats in one on this side one on this side and now we're going to run the brake lines up to the front this M66 swapped 99V70R has this custom mount bolt hole in it. And it's, I guess, two inches longer. The bolted thread is two inches longer than the stock mount. Problem is, while it was in the car, the bolt part of this custom mount looked like somebody mounted a welded bolt through there. It snapped off. So I guess I need to take this to some kind of machine shop or welding shop and have another one of these super long bolts welded on there. What do you guys do with this custom stuff like this? It's a mess. You're going to need to remove the two center lines if you're taking these over to your vehicle, off of the donor vehicle. You should mark all three of these when you go to remove them so you can get them back in the proper spot. The two brake lines that run to the back are the two middle ones on this lower run. And if one up in the front I undid so I can put the tool on the other two and it's 13 millimeters so I'm going to wipe that off with a rag plug those lines in and get them started when you remove these mark the front one with some zip tie or a color mark the next two they should have been marked when you removed them from your donor vehicle so you get them in the right correct holes the one in the middle is sunken in deeper, as you can see. And the other two are out further, but still mark them so you can get them in the correct holes. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post.
You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.